Welcome back. Today, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be using Fusion 360 to learn how to make simple hinge joints that we can then use to make a posable action figure or some other type of figurine. This process is very simple because we're going to be developing four independent pieces and then merging them together. And when we merge them together, they'll be printed as one piece. As we see here, this consists of four different pieces yet it will keep its flexibility and the ability to move seamlessly. And this piece right here, we're gonna use as a leg piece to create an action figure. And we're gonna be developing these over the next few series of videos. And so the way we're gonna begin this is we're gonna begin by developing the heel and the toe piece first. Then we will move on to the shin and ultimately connecting it to the thigh, which will have a slot for us to have a ball joint when we connect it to the pelvis area. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with this right now. All right, the first thing we're gonna do, we're actually gonna start off with the foot. And when we make the foot, we're gonna make the toe and we're gonna build upwards from that point. So in fusion, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start by making some quick lines here, five millimeters. Then we're gonna make another line for the height of the toe, the front, which will be two millimeters. Then we're gonna make a circle that is going to be four millimeters in diameter. And notice where we're putting that. We're putting it, uh, the radius is going to uh, intersect with the end of the actual toe itself. So now I've got nice circle there we're gonna make another line so we can connect that circle and the edge of the toe together just like that what we're going to do is extrude this toe by four millimeters we're actually gonna make a copy of this so we're gonna use that toe so we have two toes sitting right there and now what we need to do we need to make a center piece that is the rod so this can connect to the actual heel of the foot so we're going to create a circle on top of this toe and we're going to give it a diameter of two millimeters and then we're going to extrude that we're going to make it six millimeters in height so which means we're going to have to lift this piece we're going to move this object eight millimeters and we're going to drag it over. So now I have my two little toes. So now what we're going to do, we're going to make the heel of the foot. So what we're going to do, we're going to make a quick line that is six millimeters in length. Then we are going to make a circle that is 12 millimeters in diameter. So we're going to make this approximately, we're going to make a line here. For, so now we're going to make a line that connects the top of the circle to the edge of the foot. Next, we're going to make a circle at the front of the heel. That way, when we merge the toe and the heel, they'll fit together seamlessly. Four millimeters. Then we will do some extruding here. We're going to extrude by the width, which is 12 millimeters. What we have to do is make a circle on top of this shape and we have to make it the same diameter as the toe. So four millimeters. And what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna do an extrude on this but we're gonna do a negative extrude so it goes down in. And so we're gonna hit E, we're gonna subtract five because we wanna make sure we have enough space we're going to subtract five millimeters out of here. 
So now we've subtracted that. We have to go to the bottom of this shape. We're going to repeat that same process of making that circle here. Four millimeters. We've created our circle. So what we're going to do next, we're going to do a quick extrude. And we're going to extrude by a negative five. So now what we have is a piece that will, when we join them, this will fit in there. So we still have to subtract the hole from there. Now what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to make a hole that punches through here. So when we go to print this, all the pieces can be printed together and this toe can move freely. So the way we're going to do that, we're going to make our circle. We're going to need a one millimeter gap to create this hinge. So which means the diameter of the original circle that we needed was two millimeters. We're going to make this three millimeters. Let's go ahead, extrude it. Once again, we're doing a negative extrude. So we're going to subtract five millimeters. And this is what we're left with. A nice and neat hinge that these two will link together. All right, now one of the problems is going to be is if we put these toes inside of this hinge, they won't be able to go upwards because this plane right here will actually prevent the two toes from moving upwards. So what we're going to do, we're going to, have to make a small cutout right here so that the toes can move freely. We need to begin this process by going and clicking on on the top part of the heel right here. We're now actually going to make another circle. This time, the circle is going to be two millimeters wider than this previous circle that we just created. Now we're going to come right here and we're going to make our circle of six millimeters. Now with that being said, I'm going to do a quick extrude of this section of the circle and I'm going to be subtracting so I have to do a negative five millimeters that way it is nice and flush with that piece. We're going to repeat the process by now going to the bottom. Make sure we click the bottom part of the heel that way we're working on that plane and we had six millimeters. We're going to repeat that same process of, of extruding that section. Minus five millimeters. And there you go. This joint will now fit seamlessly in there and we'll be able to rotate. The next part of this process is we have to do something very similar to the inside of this circle right here. The quickest way to probably do this is we're going to make another circle which we're going to intersect here and then subtract. We're going to make a circle on this plane. So we make a 14 millimeter circle. So what we do next is we have to make this circle six millimeters in height. What we're going to do, we're going to align this circle with this piece. That way everything's nice and symmetrical. We're going to do that by coming up to modify, select a line, and click the circle. You'll notice that there's a icon in the middle here. That means that's the center point come over here we're going to align it to that point and there we go so now we have two objects that are aligned click OK now when the align tool does that what we'll notice is that the alignment will automatically justify this to the top because we selected the top plane the way we need to adjust that we're going to move this object the outer rim we're going to subtract three millimeters So now once we have those two shapes right there, we're now going to subtract this shape from that shape, which will give us that nice cutout that we need. So the way we're going to subtract this circle from the rest of this fixture is we're going to come up to Modify. We're going to go to Combine. Under our Operation, we're going to go to Cut. We're going to select the object we want to keep in place first, which is the outer piece. And then we're going to click the inner ring and then hit OK. Now the final step in completing this foot before we can join the toe is we're going to create another circle. So we select that plane, come to the very center, two millimeters. We're going to extrude that shape right here. We're going to extrude that shape by six millimeters and there we go. We have 
our hinge. All right, let's go ahead and make a joint real quick from this. We're going to come up to assemble. And we have to go under new component first. And we have to make each of these bodies a component. We have to make sure that we select from bodies on the right side. Select the object. Click OK. Repeat the process. Make sure you have from bodies. Do it to the toe. And what you'll notice on the left side is you have two components, component one and component two. Now we're ready to make this a joint. So let's go ahead and look at this from a different perspective. We're going to be linking this rod to this circle here to make the hinge. So come up to assemble, go to joint, make sure that your motion is set to a revolute, select this cylinder, and it's going to join that piece right there. So if I look at this from a side perspective, there it is. And I can play it again for my motion. And it seems to be operating fully. Now, obviously, we're not going to be rotating it through the object itself because that's not the point. But it does look as if everything works right there. So we're going to click OK. And there we have it. Mm -hmm.